my first time taking a legitimate pod. Might throw the old seat belt off for this adventure. What the hell? Shoo! Welcome back. We're back at the ranch, ladies and gentlemen. We are building the hatchery, fish hatchery. Day one of digging the ponds. Day, well, day one technically was clearing them trees. If you guys missed it, uh, you should go check it out. We're gonna make a whole series about this, but today we have to dig our first pond. There's a lot of question marks today. How big, how wide, how deep, where do you put the dirt? Uh, Pop Beefcake's already on the old skiddy. He's cleaning up our area, our working area. There's a lot of stumps and stuff left over. So he's on the grapple. Um, we've got the excavator and dozer still out here. Those bad boys are getting warmed up. And uh, we're gonna try to design a fish hatchery. I talked to my buddy Beamer, who's the fish hatchery guy that I was getting my fish from, and called him this morning and asked him some questions. And he, he was very helpful, so shout out to you, my guy. But we're thinking where this pile is, could easily be, well, I gotta be on the other side of this mule. It is blowing 75 miles an hour, by the way. By the way, that dam is on the other side of the wind, meaning that's our wind break. So it's like, I mean, it's blowing like 50 miles an hour and it's freaking cold. So what we're thinking, kind of got this design. It's designed as like a, a triangle shape, right? The, the, the dam is, well, it'd be the re a reverse triangle. I think in day one, I was planning on the base of the triangle being there, but I think the tip of the triangle might need to be down there now the base of it's along the dam. So we're thinking along the dam, we make three pools, three ponds for bait fish. So we could have one for one for crawfish, one for minnows, one for tadpoles, one for, you know, whatever it might be. I don't think you can have night crawlers in the water. But anyway, stuff like that. We're thinking three, and then about, about where the dozer and the mule are, this area, all the way across could be two. So you'll have a divider, like you'll have dirt in between them so you can take side-by-sides around the whole thing. And then this, basically what we're looking at here would be one big one. So we're thinking three for bait, two for smaller fish, maybe one bluegill, one crappie, or maybe one bluegill, one bass. And then the big one could be catfish or maybe bass and catfish. We're not sure what we're gonna stock in what. That's what we have you guys. You guys have gotta let us know what to put in. But I think having three smaller ones over here, ton of space. I mean, literally like one, two, three, one, two, one. And the one, will be nice and big. Um, so we've got, we got paint, we got flags, we got rolling tapes to figure out how big to make these bad boys. Um, we're thinking we're gonna build five ponds out here. I think five should be plenty. If we wanna try to import some tilapia or something like a little bit different, we can keep them separate. So we were going for three ponds, now we're like, hey, let's do five. We're already here, we're doing it, let's do five. So we gotta map this thing out. We gotta figure out how we're gonna, how we're gonna do this. This is kinda tough. But we might have to toss the old drone up and get an aerial. Top yeah, I say, you wanna do that? You wanna do that? Let's get the, yeah, let's get the aerial going, cause we might need to, that's the only way we're probably gonna be able to figure out where to, where to start it, where to stop it. We have to leave enough room in between the ponds for the excavator, so we gotta figure out what that distance is, paint them all up. My goal today is to have the one pond, the one big one dug out. That might be optimistic, I don't know. Um, I also realize we're about out of depth in the uh, excavator and we have like five gallons which I'm assuming doesn't do much in the deaf world of excavating. So I don't know. I, I hope we're not going to run to the store, but let's go ahead and get that drone up. We'll take a look at it, start drawing it up. Like I said, we've got paint. Chad's over there doing Chad things, so we're going to maybe get his help. He may he may come and take the dirt for the dam. Uh, that would be ideal. I just don't really want to mess up his flow of things. Um, we're not really sure what to do with the dirt. I mean, it's going to be a lot. Like it's, I know it may, you guys are like, oh, it's just dirt. Just You got dozers, guys. It's but it's probably a lot, probably more than what that dozer is made. That dozer is not made to move a ton of dirt all at once. It can move dirt, but not a ton. So um, we've also got, well, we got that thing. Bobby case ripping out stumps, that's what I'm saying. Uh, but we also have the tooth bucket. So once we start moving dirt, we'll have two, two units available to move dirt, the dozer and the skid, and then the excavator can do kind of the digging and whatnot. So anyways, drone's going up. Let's get to designing. All right, drone is up. You can see there's the lake. So there's the dam. There's your line of trees. So at the top of the screen, right where those trees are, will probably be three. And then right where the side-by-side -side is, which is right in the middle, right next to that doze will be two. And then you see Pop Beefcake on the excavator, or the sorry, the skid loader. He's closer to that last pool. So yeah, I would say it's a triangle and the biggest base is that way. But what you wanna do is you wanna flow small fish into big fish. So we want our bass pond or predator fish to be over here. The middle can be whatever. And then the top one need to be like the little fish. So that way, if they spill over, you just don't want bass going into the minnow pond because then it'll be a bass pond, not a minnow pond. So, um, oh wow, the wind is just blowing this thing around. That's cool. Um, 
All right, so okay, there's a decent there's a decent view right there. You can see the whole the whole thing. So we've got the base of it here, and then we've got the tip of it right where that this ex, English is tough skid loader right where the skid loader is is going to be the tip. So I think yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I think three three two one is probably going to be ideal. We just need to start drawing out our one. Figure out we need to figure out what my reach is because I don't want to go more than two of my reaches. So figure out what my reach is, or we can just kind of start digging. Basically, make a line. I can start digging and pull it, and then back up and dig another one. Would that be easiest than going on both sides, do you think? Yeah, probably. Dig it, and then back up and dig it again, and kind of connect the two, probably. rather than coming to the other side. Mm -hmm. So what we, what we, we, all we need to do then is draw our line, this line, uh -huh. and I just start and pull it, and then once I get all that dirt out, we look at it and say, do we want it wider? Yes, I roll it back and dig out more. Mm -hmm. um, if what we just make a hard line that way, and I think we should be good, so. Anyways, let's go ahead, let's go over there and start flagging this sucker up, stay tuned. All right, flags. So we need to make sure there's enough room back here for the excavator, enough room over here. So this is gonna be the creek that the last pond flows into, right here. So this is basically the biggest dam right here. Pretty dry, not a whole lot of, this is the right creek, right? Yeah. It's gotta be. Uh -huh. So this is, the, this is the creek, so right here is basically where your outflow is gonna be. So this is the biggest dam. So we wanna get an excavator width away, which I don't know what that is, but. Think about like right here. I think that's plenty, yeah. Okay. There's your corner. I think you can get around here. Mm -hmm. We forget we have dirt equipment. We can build it <laughs> we if we move. need it. Do you want to grab that wheel? We'll start measuring and see how big this sucker is going to be. About yeah, here. Yeah. I don't want to crowd that too bad. How strong you got to be to bend that sucker? That's pretty good ways. I mean, that's a long ways. Uh -huh. We want to make them rectangle. I guess we don't need to decide that right now, do we? Necessarily. Far that way? No, you just... Oh, oh, son of a... No, we'll just dig two excavator lengths. Two reaches? Two reaches is what I would go for. Because that would be two plus the width of an excavator, two plus the width of an excavator, two plus width to, to get to that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far that is. I can't do that math, but... No. Straight was that? Pretty straight. Not terrible. Let's see how far that is. What do you guys guess? How far? 80. Is it in yards? 80. Feet? Oh, God. Mm. 220. No, 115. Uh, what is it? 96. Feet? 96. You're telling me that's 30 yard bow shot? Yeah. Really? 96? 96. Yeah, we'll make it 100. So that, all of our pools are going to be 100 long. 100 by about 40 ish. And that one can be longer, actually. This will be our. This will actually be our shortest. The rest of them can be longer. Yeah. yeah, this is, I think that's plenty. Yeah. And also when we take this dirt, Jake brought a good point, like you could fill that hole and we could basically berm all that out. So we have room to drive. Like. I mean, we could take all the dirt and put it in the ditch if we want. We just can't, put, don't put anything in that ditch. That's, that's our own. So the drain, I think the pipe, the pipe for, is gonna be the last dam here. So this is our biggest dam. It'll, 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 we'll plumb it over there. Okay. So 100 feet, and then I'll probably just do two excavator arms back and then we'll measure, we'll measure how big that is and make sure we can get to that point yeah. well we got it marked off let's get to digging i'm trying to put you guys a little lower today i'm new to this whole filming the excavator deal how's that they look cute let's get busy boys time to dig us a pond yeehaw brother yeehaw it's gonna be my first time digging a legitimate pond i'm just gonna go ahead and get us a position i mean yeah you keep cleaning i'm gonna start on this corner and uh, start digging and I'm gonna throw the dirt to my left and if you guys take the dozer, if, just fill that hole up as much as you can. Yeah, we'll just keep doze. I mean, try to get rid of as much dirt on our own as possible. Once the dirt's like too far away for us to really mess with it, then I'll go get Chad and see what he thinks. So we got these headsets, we can all talk to each other. So Pavi K was just asking what he needs to be doing with the dozer. But this hole over here, we're gonna try and, uh, we're gonna try to fill it. I mean, might as well get rid of the dirt, as much of the dirt as we possibly can. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try to do Eh, maybe not. I'm not gonna push it. Say, I need ideally, if I'm sideways and I'm digging like this, I can just keep going. The problem is, if you you dig a lot on the side of your tracks, you start getting a little tippy. You want to be facing the object you're pulling. For now, I'll just face it because I'm just gonna have to basically like scoop my way down. Kind of a pain. I don't know. We'll see. I just gotta get perfectly straight. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain. All right, I'll try going sideways brought a laser so that way we know how deep we're digging and all that good stuff. Let's see how close am I. I'm about right, look at me. See now I can just go 
like this, back up a little more. And as I go, I can just move move along, and I'm just gonna try to throw that dirt in that hole. All right, first first dig. Here we go, boys. This dirt's already, it's already pretty moist. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day. It's all right, it's what we're here for, boys. We're here for a good time. Well, folks, we're about, I'd say about halfway done. Well, not in total, probably halfway, maybe a third um, of the way done. How, how much time was that? That was maybe about two hours. So I think we can get it done today. We've got a meeting at one and meeting somebody out here at 1.45. So I'll be MIA for maybe an hour, hour and a half. The boys can keep working, but that's the progress. I got off my mark here and left some. I went too far that way. And so there's actually a lot of dirt to move there that I missed. It's not hard to move a lot of dirt. It's hard to move dirt and then be able to push it away efficiently and effectively. I mean, that's what we're dealing with, is this line right here, just to that flag. So I'd say we're about, about the halfway mark, but there's a lot of dirt to get out of there, and we're gonna widen it. I think we need to make it wider. I'll have to measure it. Maybe like one and a half times this, like, you know, maybe go back up to the other side of my tracks. So I don't think we're gonna have enough room. And I could go a little further this way, kind of measure it, see if we need to make it longer. I could always, you know, dig out on this side just a little bit. Ideally, I'm trying to work that way. I don't know, either way, that's an update. Pot Beefcake is in the dozer. He's getting pretty good at that sucker. Jake's been in the skid loader and he's been, uh, you know, doing skid loader things, helping moving dirt. All we're doing is pushing it into that creek. But I don't know if we'll just keep going that way. We can't really push it into that creek because that creek is the flowing creek, can't block it. So I don't know if we're just gonna keep going and just keep running the dozer or if we're gonna try and push. We can start pushing all this dirt. All these boys are chatty Kathy over here. I can't, I can't listen and talk. And what I was saying was, I don't know if we're gonna keep trying to push all the dirt over there, if we're gonna run out of space, or if we need to start pushing dirt just here. So this was, we're trying to build screening because the, there's actually a road over there. So we might just start pushing the dirt. I could fling the dirt out and they could just push this up and just make a nice big berm wall. So that way nobody can see in. Can't see the hatcher, can't see the deer, anything like that. So I don't know, either way, let's get back to digging. folks we're headed out we got to go grab some fuel some food some depth coolant we we put these suckers to the test today we got quite a bit done i got the whole shape of it done we just have to excavate more under it and make them just a little bit wider but honestly we did pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and crawl this stuff out to uh where we've got all the fuel and get everything refueled up we should be back in business Shoo! All right, it's lunchtime, ladies and gentlemen. We just got the uh, excavator, dozer, and skid loader refueled. We're about out of def. We had five gallons. We put that in there. And the coolant is still low on the old dozer. So 
Chris is gonna come down. We're meeting up here anyways to go over a plan to burn. Try to burn the sucker down to the ground. Uh, hopefully he can find some, but that's what we're dealing with so far. Probably doesn't look like much on camera, but I think it's looking, it's looking pretty good. I mean, the size is good. It's a little high there, pretty steep. I thought about making a lip and kind of stair steps it down, but Beamer told me not to do that. He said that uh, you'll have, you'll have issues and stuff like that. So it looks like it pops out there. So we'll probably try to grab the rest of that. Try to make it a little bit more square. That slope's not bad. We can kind of leave the slope dig out a bunch here i mean probably double the width from what it is i mean dig out all that i mean we'll basically put the rest of the day in and see if we can get close it'll be close we might it might take another half a day or something to clean it up at least come in and so we can take the x-ray on that side and grab some of that dirt and throw it over there so but that's the dirt that got moved in the last three hours so maybe try to put another three hours in and we should be pretty close to getting it done we're gonna eat some lunch like i said i've got a meeting so the boys are gonna be running the equipment and when i get back i will be dozer dan so stay tuned I'm Dozer Dan now. Dozer Dan reporting for duty. Full daddy. Full Mac daddy push. Big boy push. Let's go, big boy push. Dozer Dan's retiring for the day. Well, that Dozer Dan isn't me. Anyone who's in the Dozer is now Dozer Dan. Well, Pop Beefcake's been hauling the dirt, and uh, if you want to jump on, you can go in the Dozer. Dozer Dan, you gotta get to pushing. Like I said, Pop Beefcake's been widening it. Um, I still kind of have to shape it into the exact shape that I want. I don't know, this is all new to me, so I don't really know how, if I should try to make the banks sloped more. You know, because we can't really walk. We can, we'll have to walk on the shore. I have to watch some more sane net videos to figure out. I mean, I've seen people do, but everyone's always wearing waders in the pond, which I feel like you can't really get down in that pond all that great. So anyways, Dozer Dan's, he's about to be taking flight here. So I'm going to walk this off. I've got my measuring stick. I want to figure out how wide that to that is about the widest. See, you can see that bumping right there. I got to take care of that. We got to figure out how wide we want it. Beamer said about 40. So we're going to start here, clear it, clear it. Yeah, are you guys ready? Oh God, she's a bumpy one too. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get to 40. That was also not a straight line. That was 30. It's not bad. See, we all wanna make them the same. It's gonna be a lot more dirt, but man. I'm thinking, I'm just trying to envision the rest of them, right? So we've got 30, call it 30, I can clean this up. You're gonna have the width of the excavator, which is about to here. Then you have another, hmm. I don't know. I don't know if we should call it good at 30, or should we go to the four, full English stuff, full 40? It's kind of hard to tell. It's a dirty 30, it's not a real 30. I guess, let me just do this. Oh, okay. So let's walk off another, oh, come on. Walk off another 30, 30-ish, okay? So your other pond's gonna be, stop right here, and then you've got 30, I'm gonna have to go to 40. 40 is just gonna, just gonna be that much more dirt. It's a lot more dirt. What do you guys think? So you're about 30, but not like, if I cleaned it all up about 30, you could definitely fit 3D, you know, I'm, I was kind of walking it off and measuring. I mean, like the end of the pond would go into the little bit of this brush pile and then you would have everything behind the dam still. And Beamer told us to do 40. 
I was trying to avoid it just because it's just that much more dirt to move, but I think we can fit 40, and he told us to do that, so. All right, after discussing with the boys, I think 40 it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark a flag at 40, and uh, well, we'll get back to digging. Say, so Jake, if you wanna come over here, um, since you're smaller, you might be able to come in and start feeding this dirt. I'm trying to get away from the hole because I can reach quite a ways. I just, I feel like just running that dozer next to the hole just makes me nervous. So I'd rather get the, start just pushing further because I can throw the dirt further than where I'm throwing it now. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna reposition because right now I'm, I'm like, the line's running at an angle and I kind of kept going straight. The boys are getting it done. Dozer, Dan, and Skid Loader Rick. Up for hire, you guys want them. Oh, look at this. Sheesh. All right, well, I'm done digging. It's like seven o'clock. That was a long day. But look at it. It's a giant ass pond. It's also snowing today. I don't know. Sorry, that was a good idea. Boom, pond. From that corner to that corner, almost 40 feet. Looks like it gets a little narrow over there. We can clean it up. We got right here i need to keep that going i got off my line here um i mean it's pretty i'll go down there i don't know how to get out oh god we're gonna build a ramp here that shoots down so we can get in there so i think if we can get in there with the dozer maybe the skid i don't know and uh smooth it up pack it that way it's real it's nice and smooth i mean we can call the excavator down there maybe clean up the edges a little bit and try to just try to slope it i don't know i think it's gonna work though i mean it's huge 100 feet by 40 i think it's pretty good size so the boys are just finishing up taking moving all the dirt this is a lot of dirt i will say skid loader impressive that thing we for sure need a bigger one i mean look at the skid loader was pushing almost just as much as the dozer today like literally just as much there was our line here so i kind of got off it a little bit and i definitely got off it there so i might just kind of bring the excavator on this side that's why we left that room folks bring the excavator on this side and i should be able to grab it and i can probably just kind of build up that berm over there so anyways day one on the first hatchery pond keep in mind we got five more of these bad boys but not five this big the next one will be just this big but it'll be split in two you'll have a berm right here and then the other one will be just as big as this and there'll be two berms there will be a berm there and a berm there so that kind of gives you the size comparison so anyways we'll see you guys tomorrow shoot the real dozer dan's here shoot. look at banjo he will be ready to I'm coach ready a to football game or something uh anyways uh been a couple days folks we gave the old operating equipment a rest we are back we are ready to fuel up the dozer that excavator's doing fine what do you think banjo you excited i like it ready to raise some fish yeah today's objective is to just finish this first pond and really there's not a ton to do you guys are probably looking at it going what's there to fix well i want to shape it up nice like this little bump out here when you're saning you're going to want the whole thing to be pretty cut and square um there's a little bump out there too so it's basically cleanup day so one idea we had to help make things go quicker was to build a ramp we're thinking right here and build a ramp down into it so i can get down in there and start digging from the bottom so that side's super clean looks great this side's dirty because i pull up and it fluffs it up i need to basically rake it down in order to like crisp them up and make them all perfectly square and then we got to get all the dirt out of there and pack it and make it nice and smooth so we've got the dozer for that so we're thinking crawl down there knock it all down get the excavator out run the dozer down there have dozer dan which you're are you dozer dan today no. or no? what i'm skid loader sally skid loader sally he says yeah. banjo's on skid loader duty dozer dan will be jake's job today so like you can see there's quite a bit of a slope here so i kind of want to 
blow that back out a little bit, run the dozer down there. The dozer can push the dirt here, and then maybe I can sit on the ramp and reach down and grab it. So basically, Jake can feed me dirt so I don't have to move around, and I throw it up here, and then Banjo is Skid Loader Sally. Skid Loader. Skid Loader Sally will move the dirt until we have everything done, and then the dozer, dozer Dan can come up and push the rest of the dirt with Banjo. Yeah, there'll I, probably still be a lot of dirt. It, I mean, you'll be surprised. That skid loader can push about, say, half to three quarters of what the dozer can. Because the skid loader will hold it, the dozer just yeets it to the side, and that blade's but not that big. Probably like a quarter. Now, Banjo's got, how many hours he got in the skid loader? I drove it down to the pond three times without a bucket. Without, oh. I think we need to throw him in the, the uh, dozer. The dozer. As I said, he needs to be Dozer Dan. A good day to practice is just moving dirt. That's what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna try to build a ramp, clean this out, shape up the edges, there's gonna be a ton more dirt to move. I mean a ton because we want to get this thing looking nice and pretty like there's like a bump out there The whole thing needs to be square and then we're gonna map out the next one We're also thinking I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull off a burn right there because it's just well, one It's dangerous Two, everything's really green. It's not gonna burn that great So what we're thinking try to move as much, many of those trees back to the dam as possible Basically give us room. These aren't as big as we thought. You know, we're making six ponds, right? Making three big pools and then six little pools within those three pools, if that makes sense. I think there's gonna be room for another one. So if we wanna do another one, maybe we do a really big one, maybe we do a bunch of small ones, we're not sure, but we think we can fit one, two, three, and like I said, the second one will be divided in two, the third one will be divided in three, without burning that, which should be nice, because I don't wanna start this county on fire. Um, but we might just need to push some of this I, if, you know, if I only had a thumb, uh, it'd make life easier. But I'll just try to push as much as I can over there. And then ideally we can, at least today, spray paint and flag and mark out the next pond. So if we come back tomorrow, we can just get to work. So anyways, with that being said, let's build a road into the pond. All right, I got to build a freaking ramp. A, a beefcake approved, ocean approved ramp. I got to crawl down in Lindos or Dan. And Banjo's just on skid loader duty. So he didn't have much experience with the skid loader. But the only way to get experience, ladies and gentlemen, is by getting experience. You learn how to use it get better at it soon you'll be dozer dan life will be good when you're dozer dan i'm trying to think if there's a better way to do this i'm not sure there is who would have done that all right i think i'm getting this road figured out no <laughs> i'm having to pull it and then throw it back in the hole which i feel like is super counterproductive but i think that's the only way i can get the, the ramp i don't know how else i'm uh, supposed to do this i think I, i'll get it figured out right? Put your, put your blade down. He's gonna go and push this hill and push the rest of that dirt into there in hopes that that's enough to get down there. But I'll, I'll go first. You just gotta get the dirt in place. So I'll let you know when to stop. You're doing good. You're doing good things right now. Good idea. Oh, yeah, I made a perfect, perfect whip. Yeah, just keep the blade right where it's at. You're gonna see yourself falling down. You're on, you're on solid ground. You're not gonna hit not solid ground until you hit this edge. You're, you, you're good. You got a full load of dirt too. Yeah. Yep. It's getting a little moist. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. You're fine. You got plenty of dirt train tracks. You got plenty. You might be there. You might be there. Look at you! Those are Dan building that road, son. You got a ton of dirt, so go ahead and lift your blade real high. Okay. Look at you, you're in the hole. Loader Sally and Dozer Dan. They're getting after it, folks. Well, um, we moved more dirt than I, I just, I know. I can't stop digging, I just keep digging. So we dug this thing out, un, like unintentionally, didn't even realize I was doing it, like another two feet. So we're probably pushing 10 feet on this sucker, which is fine, because you know, this is gonna be our bigger predator fish pond, but they're cleaning up the dirt. We're just about done. It's tall, you see the boys up there. I made this end deeper, like I said, unintentionally. Yeah, I'd say we're at least 10 foot. You see here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm not tired of digging, but I'm tired of 
coming down here, scraping it, making a huge mess, having to repack. Like, we got plenty of water. At the end of the day, it's just a little fishy pond. It ain't a big deal. Like, there's a little hump here, but I, I mean, I think the only ones we could probably get it with six to eight. This one we're pushing eight to ten. Um, but I said for big predator fish, we're getting some big catfish in here. We want some big bass in here. We want to grow them up. And then the other two, you know, maybe we do bluegill. Maybe we do crappie. We're not sure if we want crappie in this pond or not because technically for crappie or for bass ponds, you don't really want crappie. But anyways, the bass slash catfish pond is just about complete. You guys stay tuned. Those are Dan. You break that handle or what? What the hell? That's a nice handle. Yeah. And a tree branch caught it and, and it started opening it. and it got like right here and like broke the handle and like pulled it like that. So. Right. Shoo, there you have it folks, episode one. Actually, not episode one, but pond one is complete. Uh, it took one full day to clear trees, almost two full days. I mean, we worked an extra long day the first day, so I would say almost two full days, but look at it. It is looking good. It's looking real good there. Not quite packed up there, but we had to pull that out in order to, we filled in our ramp. We didn't want to leave that. We wanted to pull that out. So for the most part, it's packed. It's pretty much clay, so we shouldn't have to worry about it, but what do you think about that, Banjo? I like giant, it. giant swimming pool. Yeah. It's big. Yeah, it's it, really big. It's deep, too. So I think we, get, we made it, you know, we may not fill, fill it to the brim. We may put the pipe. I guess we didn't think about that either. Luckily, we did make this one a little deeper because you're going to want your pipe, you know, a foot above it, or be, sorry, below it. So you'll lose a foot there. We didn't think that one through when we were measuring those. I'm glad, now I'm glad I took the extra dirt because now we're probably sitting six, seven, maybe eight feet. Uh, but pond number one's done, big big daddy pond. So we got, this is where we had the road, the ramp. I filled this all back in, packed it back in decent. I mean, it could use it could use some smacking and packing. A lot of this stuff could be groomed up, but I mean, it's it's all minor stuff. We're, we're trying to get the big stuff done. So again, first pond complete. Stay tuned to the next episode where we attack the next one, which should be the same size, maybe a little longer, uh, but there's gonna be two. So we might make it 120 feet or 115 feet, basically the width of that excavator. Uh, we're gonna take that and we're gonna add to it. What do you think? Do you think we need to do that or do you think you leave it? Do you think you need to compensate for the excavator, meaning you would have two 50 foot pools or would you want to just leave the excavator, basically take this, build a bridge, and then you would have two like maybe 40 foot pools? I don't know how wide the excavator is, but to be safe, you probably want 20 to balance in between because you don't want to like fall off. Yeah. So that's well, I guess what I was saying is like you need to make it another 100 and you're gonna have two 40s, or you make it 120 and have two 50s, or you know you can split the difference down the middle or something like that. We'll have to figure it out. I don't, either way, I think for the big pond, this is perfect. We got to get two more ponds here. So we're, next episode, we're gonna spray them all out, flag them all out, mark them all out, measure them all out, and we should be good to go. Stay tuned. Ooh, what is this? I do.